Ingvar Fyodor Kemprandt was born on the 30th of March, 1926, on a small farm in Sweden. Kemprandt began his career at the age of six, selling matches. When just ten, he crisscrossed the neighborhood on his bicycle, selling Christmas decorations, fish and pencils. At 17, in 1943, Kemprin's father rewarded him with a small sum of money for doing well in school, despite being dyslexic. With it, Ingvar founded a business named IKEA, an abbreviation for Ingvar Kemprin from Elmterid, a Gunnarid, his boyhood home. In the beginning, IKEA didn't make furniture. It sold small items like pencils, pipes, and postcards through mail-ordered catalogues. In the 1950s, IKEA's female employees with the wool ensembled pictured below. Traveling door to door, they carried binders to take down customers' orders. Ken Brand published IKEA's first home catalogues and started designing furniture in 1951. Filming for one of IKEA's first TV ads, circa early 1960s. Starting in the early 60s, IKEA created items that were painted light, neutral colors with a few pops of color. This is evident in the kitchen cabinetry pictured below. Lacquered oak tables were also popular Starting in the late 60s, Ericsson says, couches and armchairs had sharpened eyes and lots of grey upholstery. IKEA's furniture in the 70s featured more bold patterns and colours, influenced by the hippie culture. Picture below is a bright green armchair, which IKEA started selling in 1970. On the front of this 1973 catalogue, IKEA advertised its casual attached floor sofa made from denim, a very fashionable material at the time. In 1979, IKEA stores started serving the iconic meatballs fried in butter. Decorative patterns characterized IKEA's product in the 80s, as you can see in the floral sofa below. However, that minimalist design mentality didn't apply to IKEA's neon colored furniture for Kit, Memnut, and Trofast, also born in the 90s. Moving into the 21st century, IKEA focused on producing multifunctional furniture that could fit in almost any household. Over the past seven decades, IKEA has made a long journey from a small mail-order business to the multi-billion donor entity, humanitarian organization, restaurant, household name, and style icon that is today.